A slight problem, uh, I record another video and then the video software didn't save it, so uh, I have to do this one again. So where were we? We were on 12.51. Now that's how this works with a, a document which I've already been working on, okay? This is an existing one. So I'm going to close this document and I'm going to create a new blank document. Now with this, that hasn't been saved, there is no file path. And if I click on the properties, there is no title, okay? So this is basically what your new document will look like. Now if I click on developer and visual basic again, and I want to come to save, save, save new file name. Now, with a new document, when I run through this, what's gonna happen here when we save the file? There is no, the, the path name is null and the title is null, so this part will execute. So let's just do this now and again. I do debug, step into with F8, okay? F8 on the keyboard. So if the path is null and, and, and the title is null, then we need it's going to show me this message box saying we need a title click a yes to open the dialog or no to abort and the whole purpose of this is for us to enter a title and then we'll get the then the then we'll save the file okay so when i do f8 we need a title click yes to open the dialog or no to abort if you don't want to save just click on no and then the save as will save as dialog will appear however the whole idea is we click on yes. So we go back to the code and it's going to execute our response, which was in this case was yes. And it's going to call the document information panel, which is a little subroutine here, basically calling this document properties. OK, I can't get back to the document with this kind of kind of um, dialog box. So Russ video test. Well, that's my title, and when I click on OK, I step through the, the code, and then end if. And it's now going to say, right, let's check to see if you entered a title, because the whole purpose of this is we enter a title, OK? So if, if on this previous dialog I selected no, then it's going to ask me again, because it won't, this routine won't add a um, a date and a time at the end until you actually do yes, okay? So then it's going to run through this and then it's going to ignore that because we have a title and now we're down into the, the file name, right? So we have the file path, we have the file title and we have the my string which will be today's date, okay? Which is currently 13.13 um, and then we have this variable where we're going to collate all of these three so the file path i didn't actually enter one because it's a new document the file title as i as we saw is rust video test one and the time now is 13 13 on today's date and again this is going to collate all this information together and now we're going to save the document with that name okay so as you can see rust video test one this date this time if I do file save as, I can see that it's in my D drive. Now, if I want to change that, and I come to my .dump folder, and I'm going to save it in my .dump, okay? So that's still the same file name, we just saved it in a different location, .dump. So as soon as it hits 13.14, as it has now, I can run the code again. And this time, I can just run through it quickly because Oh, well, all it is, we have a file name, we have a file path, and now it's going to save it in that new .dump folder, okay? And that's what it's going to do every time. So when I come back here, we now have a new file name. When I go to my .dump folder, I can see that there sitting at the top, okay? This is all it does. If for some reason there wasn't a file name, sorry, a file title, if I do file, info, properties, advanced properties, Let's say I delete that, and now when I select or run this code, it's not going to find a file name. Okay, so when the, the, the value is null, 
just going to ignore this because this is to do with the document path and we have a document path which is my doc dump folder so now there's no title we get asked for one again if i click on no it's going to exit the sub okay and go back to the document and that's all it does we want a title so let's do that again yes so now it's going to call the document information panel again now the idea is i enter a title but now if i cancel it's going to come back here and it's going to run this piece of code it's like you press cancel no title entered and then it's going to exit the sub okay so that whole idea is that you enter a title all right that's what we have to do and then i do test for us okay yay video video 2 click on ok and there's my new file name and it's going to be in this particular folder here and then of course the next time i need a new file name i just click on save new file name but once it goes to 17 that will actually work but at the moment we're just stuck where we are here and then of course now i can while I'm waiting for this to go, I can start writing into my document like so, and then I can add a new picture from my pictures folder, and now we've got a new time, and then I do Russ, new file name. There we go, now 1317. And here we go, there's the file size change because it now contains an image. Now how cool is that? How much easier is that? I know the code might be a little bit confusing for you, but now whenever I want to save a document, I just do save new file name. And it gives me these iterations. And at the end, when I get to the end of the day and everything's good in my last version, I just delete all the other ones or I move them to an archive folder. Um, and it's a, just a great way of saving your document. And this is one I use all the time now. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually set up the macro in your, on your computer and create and assign a button to it, okay?